Welcome to Quotes Mystery. Quotes Worth Sharing. Quote of the Day. Wise quotes about Arthur Schopenhauer. Partake in these Arthur Schopenhauer quotes for some great life. Exhortation. Arthur Schopenhauer was a German rationalist brought into the world in 1788. He is most popular for describing the sensational world as the result of a visually impaired and voracious otherworldly will, which he best makes sense of in his book The World as Will and Portrayal. Arthur Schopenhauer is one of the extraordinary personalities that invested his energy thinking and finding out about his convictions. Wise Arthur Schopenhauer quotes, It is difficult to find happiness within oneself, but it is impossible to find it anywhere else. Honor is not to be won, it must only not be lost. Compassion for animals is intimately associated with goodness of character, and it may be confidently asserted that he who is cruel to animals cannot be a good man. With people of limited ability, modesty is merely honesty, but with those who possess great talent, it is hypocrisy. A man shows his character just in the way in which he deals with trifles, for then he is off his guard. Politeness is to human nature what warmth is to wax. In action, a great heart is the chief qualification. In work, a great head. Will minus intellect constitutes vulgarity? Money is human happiness in the abstract, and so the man who is no longer capable of enjoying such happiness in the concrete sets his whole heart on money. It is a wise thing to be polite, consequently it is a stupid thing to be rude. To make enemies by unnecessary and willful incivility is just as insane a proceeding as to set your house on fire. For politeness is like a counter and avowedly false coin, with which it is foolish to be stingy. Compassion is the basis of morality. Wicked thoughts and worthless efforts gradually set their mark on the face, especially the eyes. Happiness consists in frequent repetition of pleasure. The person who writes for fools is always sure of a large audience. Each day is a little life, every waking and rising a little birth, every fresh morning a little youth, every going to rest and sleep a little death. The first forty years of life give us the text, the next thirty supply the commentary on it. We forfeit three quarters of ourselves in order to be like other people. There is no doubt that life is given us not to be in joy, but to be overcome, to be got over. In early youth, as we contemplate our coming life, we are like children in a theater before the curtain is raised, sitting there in high spirits and eagerly waiting for the play to begin. Because people have no thoughts to deal with, they deal cards and try to win one another's money. Idiots. Great minds are related to the brief span of time during which they live as great buildings or to a little square in which they stand. You cannot see them in all their magnitude because you are standing too close to them. Talent hits a target no one else can hit. Genius hits a target no one else can see. Nature shows that with the growth of intelligence comes increased capacity for pain and it is only with the highest degree of intelligence that suffering reaches its supreme point. Truth that is naked is the most beautiful, and the simpler its expression, the deeper is the impression it makes. If you want to know your true opinion of someone, watch the effect produced in you by the first sight of a letter from him. 
The intellectual attainments of a man who thinks for himself resemble a fine painting, where the light and shade are cracked, the tone sustained. The fundament upon which all our knowledge and learning rests is the inexplicable. The discovery of truth is prevented more effectively, not by the false appearance of things present and which must lead into error, not directly by weakness of the reasoning powers, but by preconceived opinion, by prejudice. The greatest achievements of the human mind are generally received with distrust. One should use common words to say uncommon things. A man can be himself only so long as he is alone, and if he doesn't love solitude, he will not love freedom, for it is only when he is alone that he is really free. It's the niceties that make the difference fate gives us the hand, and we play the cards. Thus the task is not so much to see what no one yet has seen, but to think what nobody yet has thought about that which everybody sees. Reading is merely a surrogate for thinking for yourself. It means letting someone else direct your thoughts. The doctor sees all the weakness of mankind, the lawyer all the wickedness, the theologian all the stupidity. Mostly it is loss which teaches us about the worth of things. Almost all of our sorrows spring out of our relations with other people. Journalists are like dogs. Whenever anything moves, they begin to bark. There are 80,000 prostitutes in London alone, and what are they, if not bloody sacrifices on the altar of monogamy? Suffering by nature or chance never seems so painful as suffering inflicted on us by the arbitrary will of another. The assumption that animals are without rights and the illusion that our treatment of them has no moral significance is a positively outrageous example of Western crudity and barbarity. Universal compassion is the only guarantee of morality. If children were brought into the world by an act of pure reason alone, would the human race continue to exist? Would not a man rather have so much sympathy with the coming generation as to spare the burden of existence, or at any rate not take it upon himself to impose that burden upon it in cold blood? This our world, which is so real, with all its suns and milky ways, is nothing. Every man takes the limits of his own field of vision for the limits of the world. All truth passes through three stages. First, it is ridiculed. Second, it is violently opposed. Third, it is accepted as self-evident. A man's delight in looking forward to and hoping for some particular satisfaction is a part of the pleasure flowing out of it, enjoyed in advance. But this is afterward deducted, for the more we look forward to anything, the less we enjoy it when it comes. Change alone is eternal, perpetual, immortal. Wealth is like sea water, the more we drink the thirstier we become, and the same is true of fame. To free a person from error is to give, and not to take away. The business of the novelist is not to relate great events, but to make small ones interesting. Man can do what he wills, but he cannot will what he wills. Life is a constant process of dying. A sense of humor is the only divine quality of man. A high degree of intellect tends to make a man unsocial. Treat a work of art like a prince, let it speak to you first. Religion is the masterpiece of the art of animal training, for it trains people as to how they shall think. Great men are like eagles, and build their nest on some lofty solitude. 
So the problem is not so much to see what nobody has yet seen, as to think what nobody has yet thought concerning that which everybody sees. What did you gain from these Arthur Schopenhauer quotes? Since you have had a chance to get to find out about Arthur Schopenhauer, you can see that he was a man who accepted that the greater part of life can be gotten through figuring things done through. As he suggests, he accepted that individuals who didn't require some investment to think would surrender to callings like betting. You might concur with Schopenhauer. However, there is no contention that he was able to contribute his significant investment seeking after where his contemplations took him. An individual who will understand their considerations and see where they led can reveal numerous insights and in root. Has Arthur Schopenhauer propelled you to explore your own considerations? Ensure you understand what you accept and why you trust it to be really sure about your convictions. What's your greatest important point from these? Arthur Schopenhauer statements and maxims. That was the Arthur Schopenhauer quote this time. Subscribe to this channel for more video quotes. Thank you for watching.